He's too smart. <laughs> what does this bring us back? <laughs> oh no, the spider just absolutely screws our- Oh, damn it. Oh, that sucked. The spider screwed over our rekindler, but... Hey, this board's pretty alright. Hmm. Let's just level our rum- oh. <laughs> hey guys! How's it going? Jay Sensational here, and welcome back to the channel. Happy Sunday, guys! Today, we're bringing back a little bit of the Sunday fun day stuff. We got a banger for you guys. This is a deck that was redeemed on my Twitch channel, and I decided to play a few games of it because it was particularly interesting. So this is another Noxus. Uh, Shadow Isles deck with the Legion Zerga card, which is very popular in this Noxus Viego list. But here's the catch. We're not playing Viego. Instead, we have some even more base cards like Rumble, which obviously works very well with Legion Zerga as well, being able to grant it Quick Attack, Spell Shield, as well as Impact. So just be able to curve Rumble into Legion Zerga, generates you two very hard to remove units, which if you know, you're your opponent and you're facing two spell shielded quick attackers with potentially overwhelm slash impact, that's gonna really scare you and be a big threat to, you know, your overall health total. And for our top end, instead of Diego, we have Scion as well as Harrowing, which is very spicy because Harrowing can bring back Legion Deserters, which have these keywords from Rumble. So when you set this all up, this Harrowing becomes a really big finisher that pretty much any deck without Deny can't beat unless, you know, they win before, you know, you are able to set this up. This deck is definitely very convoluted. It has a, it has a very, very, um, what's the right word? I don't know. It, it's, it's good when you draw into it, especially into the slower decks that just really struggle to deal with this, but it's a little bit inconsistent. Uh, especially if you don't draw Lost Soul, it's very hard to level up Scion, and if you don't draw Rumble, your Legion Zerg doesn't really do that much. But if we do pop off, we even have Haunted Tomb and Rekindlers to bring back copies of Rumble, which can be very good as well. And we also have just the Camavoran Soldier and some, you know, just good general Shadow Isles and Noxus cards in here, like Sentry as well as Fly. I wouldn't recommend climbing with this deck unless you're some sort of lunatic. I'm not sure if this is even the best version of this deck. If you actually want like a better deck, you should look at the Noxus Vega list instead of this sort of very janky ass Scion harrowing list. But nonetheless, when you pull off this deck, there are some pretty cool highlights and you can live vicariously through the games in this video instead of playing it yourself. So if you ever wanted to play Rumble with Legion Deserter with some Shadow Isles sort of harrowing style of cards this is the video for you guys just you know word of advice maybe not take the deck onto the ladder <laughs> so enjoy the games hope you guys uh, had a great weekend i'll see you guys tomorrow for another video but thank you guys so much for tuning into the channel so peace out guys and take care of me. what you got what you got for me oh boy big soda oh my god Okay, so it's a uh, yup. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Were you here when we were just talking about Legion Deserter and Rumble? That seems way too coincidental to be anything besides a coincidence. Oh man, this deck is greedy as hell. <laughs> I, I like the idea of bringing back Rumble with like this because it does have these keywords, right? That's kind of cute. I'm just going to put in a third rumble instead of the Scion, if you don't mind. This deck looks kind of cute. Oh, Jesus Christ. Well, I mean, if we hit the rumble and then we hit Legion Deserter, like, how are they going to deal with all of our spell shields? Oh, Lord. Lord have mercy. Okay. I mean, we hit the curve. This curve is nuts. We're just going to survive and have three discard targets. A little bit harder said than done, but... We're kind of popping off with our first draw already. Okay, second rumble. Uh, 
Yeah, yeah, we need Lasso. Like, we need something to discard. Lasso's like our only discard target in this deck. That's a little bit suspect. I need to think about what three cards I'm discarding. Oh, what'd you say, Aramak? You know, I want mostly beta mono SI nurse reverted. Like, I think Nox, Viego, Deserter does a very similar thing in the deck. Down beta, except blah blah blah. Gotcha. Two Aux on one Sivir. I'd rather. Ooh. You can cut down on. No, wait. Can you cut down on Bard? Bard's effect is three per copy of him, right? Okay. Cutting down on Bard's a little bit awkward. Like, I would cut down on Bard before I cut down on Auction, but then, like, if you cut down on Bard, you get less chimes, right? That's, like, how the deck works. I'm a little bit confused by that. I don't know how to, like, best fit that in. Curve deck is high enough, I just discard whatever I feel, don't feel like playing. That's fair. Like, I could discard you, you, and something else. I do want to just play Rumble this turn, though. Like, playing Rumble here into Legion Deserter is so freaking fat. You know what? I just get rid of Vile Feast and Flock. I'll save the Rekindler. I can also just get rid of the second Rumble. But the second Rumble has the keywords? Never mind. Alright, goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Yeah, that's pretty decent. <laughs> oh, and it's a 7 sick. Okay, well, I mean, I feel pretty good here, you know? Like, that's pretty decent. <laughs> I guess when you do this, the deck's alright, uh huh. Like, what is he gonna do? He has a Vile Feast, but there's two spell shields he needs to pop here. And I guess he can, like, Glimpse Block on the Rumble, that's a little bit annoying. Do we have any draw? Three Whispers and the Grave Positions? We do have a lot of high value cards to make sense. Lost Soul. If you don't have Rumble, if you don't have Lost Soul in hand with Rumble when you play it, this card's, like, kind of dead, no? Except if you draw exactly Grave Physician. I'm not, I'm not sure how high on Lost Soul I am in this kind of list. Maybe finding like some cards that generate cards for you to discard instead of the other way around. I don't know. I think the concept of Lost Soul is just a tad awkward. Oh, what's really cool is if he tries to disintegrate. Oh no, he can't because it's quick attack. If he tries to Glimpse Block out of Alphys. He can't disintegrate. He could like disintegrate Vile, I guess. That'd be kind of annoying. But I think he was like thinking about the disintegrate because he's blocking the one one. But because it has quick attack, it doesn't actually work like that. Okay, I will stop this. Unfortunately, they are blocking my rumble level, which definitely is annoying because this hand needs a little bit more value. And right now, rumble is like my only way of getting there. Okay, um, that's a little bit annoying as well. I can like trade off rumble here. He attacks. Oh no, it doesn't work like that because. Okay. Oh, Atrocity. Is he dead? He might be dead. He's close to dying. How am I killing off my Rumble? Just a Vengeance? Yeah, this is really awkward now. I think I'm getting rid of one of these. It's probably just the Rekindler. So he gets another Vengeance, right? So like, realistically, he's gonna ping Rumble and then Vengeance it. Which also makes me not want to ditch my Rekindler here. I don't know if I want to ditch Atrocity. Ugh, slightly awkward here. What am I discarding? <laughs> what? That was shot, man. Oh my god, that's so crazy. So like, now he's gonna kill Rumble with the Vengeance, like Darkness Vengeance or whatever, and then we just play Deserter into Rekindler or some dumb thing like that? Oh my god. That's kind of funny. We don't want to play it because, like, we'd rather him kill our Rumble because it doesn't have Overwhelm, right? Okay, he's gonna use that to pop Spell Shield, brilliant. And then he's gonna, like, Vengeance it or something. That thing is a little bit awkward, but he needs to use the Vengeance this turn. Mwah! Beautiful. Yeah. 
I kind of want to go double rumble as well. Down. I got a lot of things to do here that I kind of want to do, but I can't. Like getting double, double rumbles like pretty cute, but then I can't play Legion Deserter. Maybe I don't need to play Legion Deserter and double rumbles like better. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know the answer to that question. Uh, it like blocks my turn though. I can like glimpse this turn, I guess. I can't block Senna, but that doesn't particularly matter. Like, what am I doing here? Am I just going double rumble? Oh, it's so bad. I should I should be responsible and not play double rumble. He vengeance vials. No, like he doesn't get a vengeance back because this vengeance was fleeting. That was off of the catalog, so he doesn't get it back. Ooh, go hard. Kind of annoying. Come on, baby. I'd like from attack with the Senna so I can like glimpse block. The awkward part here is I know he has a go hard, right? So if I play this out, he just like pops the spell shield and I feel kind of bad. It's like he has another revenge at that point. Ugh. We're kind of losing our big boys. But I kind of need to apply some pressure. But I know he has go hard. He has another vengeance. I can simply glimpse and that's fine. Like if we find like harrowing this game, we just win, right? His deck just can't stop harrowing. And we bring back Legion Deserter over Rumble. So that's like big, right? Like our harrowings will just be like two Legion Deserters and we win. And like a couple Rumbles. Did I say Ruination? I meant Harrowing. What? Why? Oh, it's a flaw. <sighs> Unlucky. Can't stop flock here. Can I? Um, I draw into, like, Hemivoran Soldier. <laughs> okay, boys, we're ready. We're ready! We're so ready. Um, his Senna levels. Kind of annoying, but I don't think that's a big... I don't, I don't think that really matters. We can't stop Flock. We can glimpse the Deserter so that his Senna doesn't level. Again, not very relevant. But we'll, we'll try to push what our damage we can. Oh, interesting. So if he glimpse here, he needs to kill like the Spiderling to save his Senna. Alternatively, we can just like Vow Feast this. It's like if he has a second Flock, we feel kind of bad. I guess we just let this through, then glimpse or just Vow Senna and we kill it. All right, so we're set up. We need to lose. We need to ditch the rest of our board. We have a glimpse to help with that. We, uh, Rumble being alive, sure. Uh, the spider. We have two spiderlings that kind of need to go bye bye. Although I'm not sure how we do that. How do we do that? We can glimpse one of them, and maybe that's fine. Maybe we just like win without the harrowing, but I kind of have it in our back pocket just in case. So his card is Darkness. I need him to clear my board somehow. Okay, he's gonna pack me and then clear my board. Okay, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, we'll go for the Glimpse here. And then we set up the Harrowing. And then maybe this like takes out another card. What's Vile? Did I know it was Vile? I guess I kind of did. Alright, it's fine. Alright, beautiful. Um, he attacked with Spider and we get a trade off to Harrowing. It's it's brilliant. It's it's perfect. It's perfect. Can we just play this rumble though? <laughs> um how do we trade this spider off? Should we play this rumble? Is he ever gonna attack this spider? How do we get him to trade? He's too smart. <laughs> What does this bring us back? <laughs> oh no, the spider just absolutely screws our- Oh, damn it. Oh, that sucked. The spider screwed over a rekindler, but... I think this board's pretty alright. Hmm. Does this level our rum- Oh. <laughs> Alright, thanks for your deck, buddy. That was kind of fun. What can this Legion Deserter deck do that Viego version doesn't? You can give it Spell Shield and Quick Attack. 
The answer is not as much. I don't know. I don't think there's a particularly strong reason to play it over the other one. It's just a different flavor that's a little bit more funny. Alright, we're gonna keep flogging up Punish by not drawing a sentry. Oh dear lord. Ah! Um. Uh, okay. What the? Okay. Sure. I can technically get six cell shield units with harrowing. That's kind of pog. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, he plays Zed, we Valfi's flock it. We're giving up our whispered words this turn. Okay, he doesn't. Oh god. Oh no. Okay, Camovore and Soldier. Perfect. Camo, Flock, Vial. And he doesn't have like another unit. Okay, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So that's his only chime. He draws. Okay, beautiful. Shumple is better than Scion or Tactician. Maybe. Okay. He did sneak the Zed through, but we finally have the Flock this time, uh, but it doesn't beat a twin. Oh lord. How did he hit the Zed with the Chime? Like... This Flock doesn't... Like, if he has a twin, we just accept our fate, I think. I don't think there's any coming back from this twin disciplines that he's gonna drop on my head. Oh, thank the lord. Oh, we should've swapped these blocks. Whoopsies. <sighs> Okay, Legion Deserter can carry us because he's not wide. Now, how do you throw two times? <laughs> Alright, you just have nothing left. You just have nothing left. Alright. That's, that's okay. That's not going super duper wide. Like, we can block one land unit, and then we can develop nothing in- Oh? Really? Why? I'd be super happy to, like, somehow trade down this Legion Deserter, because I can bring it back for three mana. Good evening. Good evening, CK. How you doing, man? Welcome, welcome. Land unit? Yeah, it's sort of just, like, calm. Well. Four mana for five mana, it's okay. Yeah, it's it just like carried over like listening to Maj and talk about cards. You're just like kind of like... Oh god. We're still losing though. Our silence not even level. We've discarded nothing this game. Jesus Christ, oh my lord. Oh, we're so dead. We're not dead this turn, but we're dead on the next attack. What in Tarnate? Oh no, what? Are we dead on next attack? We might not be dead on next attack. Hmm, but how are we winning? That is the question. An elusive deck? Yeah, the Zed Bar deck is basically an elusive deck. How many units do you realistic think, realistically think he has? We're one short off of lethal. Okay, but he blocks. He twins, and then we haunted tomb. He develops, you have sentry for next turn. Oh, he double blocks. It makes sense because like his board's elusive. So it's like land units don't really matter at all. I'm not dead on the swing quite yet. I can always atrocity my own unit into their Shadow Assassin. Win. Okay, that sucks. I can discard my Scion just to pump. Am I needing Scion here? It's not gonna push into lethal range anyway, so it doesn't particularly matter. We're just gonna play the like Haunted Tomb this turn. So, am I just... Am I just, like, axing the Scion for the Draven Overwhelm here? I probably need to start counting damage. I read Tomb. Yeah, we finally gotta play the Tomb card. And we just need to hope we don't die. 
which we do have axe atrocity for. <laughs> it's a little bit sketchy. Oh, 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 okay. Pog or pogging? We're actually pogging here. Like this is this is such high counterplay level of strats. Um, what's the worst card here? There's no way he like has another twin up off the maker, right, guys? We need to keep you just in case he has like a land unit. We just replay Draven. So we just replay Draven, right? Oh no, we need to keep him on board to block. Okay, so we'll just discard you. What's our next turn? What are we discarding? Probably the glimpse. So now he needs like a twin to pump this up to like actually recall my Draven, right? Okay, and then I get a haunted tomb. And then this brings me back uh the thing on my attack turn, and then I have atrocity, and we get there. We also have harrowing. And we get there if he develops he gets punished by the sentry omega oh, hard right now he's only representing seven plus three only ten so he can't kill me okay still can't kill me and now i get to buff up the deserter into harrowing oh my god this turn's sick all right i think we win here guys i think we're winning because now our legion deserter is a nine seven nine eight Oh, but now I don't have board space for a good harrowing. He develops again, I have sentry, that's fine. He's not killing me this turn. And then next turn, as long as I stick one of them, I have atrocity outs, right? <gasps> He's letting me sack my guy? Please, dude, please, please give me this trade. Let's go! Give me those trades. <laughs> Harrow or deny? No, no shot, right, guys? Even if it is a deny, I think I still win because I just attack and then atrocity. If he only has one deny, we're winning, right? Oh, please give me this trade. Thank you. Give me the trade. Give me the trade. Give me the trade. <laughs> please give me the trade. All right. All right. Okay, that's fine. All right, we're chilling. We just harrowing and then atrocity. We could glimpse the camo soldier. What does this do? <laughs> um, if he has another will of Ionia, we do lose, don't we? I guess there's no point glimpsing, is there? Hope oh, no deny. Deny doesn't beat atrocity. He needs two cards here. We can't play around two cards, so it's irrelevant. The question is, do you just want to glimpse before we harrowing? Because, like, if he palms here, that's basically the same thing. Doesn't really make a huge difference. The only difference it makes is it brings back... It doesn't even bring back an extra... No, 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 it doesn't bring back an extra. So, we should not... Like, the Nine doesn't do it here. And he doesn't have Deny, right? He, he would deny that, right? Like, I don't know. Oh wait, the harrowing bug! I totally forgot! Wait, wait, wait. I totally forgot the game just crashed when you play harrowing. Did he just pass? No, it's his turn. Okay. And apparently it crashes like this thingy. You know, that existed. Yeah, it's bugged for some reason. Harrowing just like, sort of like, ints your game. I mean, now he's dead if he has nothing. And if he only has one thing, then he's still dead. Unless it's a will of Ionia, then we die. But then we get a Trossy R3-3 three, three potentially. Like this only deals... If this deals 10, if even if it deals 9, we still win, right? Because we Trossy R3-3. Three, three. Opponent just forfeits after your harrowing. <laughs> Fair enough. This poor man, 45% win rate. Zed Bard just uh... Wait, it crashes it for him too? No, it, there's no way it like, breaks his game, right? It breaks his game too? I, I, I refuse to believe that, unless it does. It does? Oh wait, I'm bug abusing. Wait. 
Uh oh. Monk and W? Well, that kind of blows. I, I didn't know it crashed for him. Okay, fair enough. Well, I'm sorry, Mr. X Roasted. If your hand was exactly Will of Ionia, I am sorry. Actually, did Will of Ionia save you? If your hand was like double Will, I'm sorry. Wow, yeah. I think it crashed for him. That's really unfortunate. You are roped after Harry, so sure it crashed for both players? Hmm. Yeah. I don't know, that's unfortunate. What the hell? Why is he playing Shadow Isles? <laughs> Why is he playing Shadow Eyes? And the Rumble. Haunted Tomb? I guess. What is he reviving with Haunted Tomb? Our hand is pretty nuts here. We have the Rumble, we have the Draven. I wouldn't mind like a Draven's biggest fan either, Zombie Talia. I mean, yeah. Oh my god, my hand is nuts. Sure, buddy. Alright, I will sacrifice my Draven to your... Oh, he, he gives Rumble vulnerable. That's kind of annoying. So, like, is he playing... He'd be playing Ziggs, but he can't trade off Ziggs into the Spinning Axe. That doesn't really make sense. I don't know if he's going to be playing, like, Devout in this deck. Probably makes sense, like Devout plus Ride of Arcane package. Oh, sorry, I missed the follow earlier. Yo, uh, Hanoi, that's how I pronounce your name. Thank you for the follow. Really appreciate it. What's the third card I'm discarding here? The Glimpse, maybe? Glimpse is pretty sick. Maybe it's a flaw. Maybe play something in. Okay, it's fine. God, we're so good at the game. Holy moly. We're, act we're actually just nuts at this game. Like, actually nuts. Oh my god, we're insane. What a draw. That's kind of unfortunate. He, like, missed this draw last turn. Like, he really wanted that last turn, right? Like, he plays Talia, he's one landmark off. I was like killing my Rumble here. I think the best draw would be like... So he's like on a Ride of Arcane this way? And then like, go after the Draven, maybe? It's not like Talia, right, here? Oh, his hand really sucks, huh? I don't know if I want to play, like, my Deserter into the Roiling Sands when <laughs> pretty much everything has it. So he's not playing Talia. His champions are leveled. Like, Ride of Arcane into, like, going after all my units is what I would presume to be happening here. If you Ride of Arcane's, like, in Glimpse. Champions are leveled, I can't really stop them, but it's not like there's Absolver, maybe there's, no there is, there could be Absolver, he's in Shreema. Rockhopper, alright. I kind of wish I had a Vile Feast, huh? Oh wow, really? Ion? Sounds not leveled. Close though. I need to get rid of you and then discard you to play Scion. We've kind of just been bullying him, like, every card we've played has just been, like, bonkers, and he's just been playing, like, Roiling Sands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, do we care? We can, like, glimpse this if we want. Maybe this glimpse is better on Scion. 
I realized like that card can be used to kill Scion, and I really wasn't quite thinking about the synergy there. So maybe I should have thought a little bit harder about that one. Hmm. Yeah, killing Scion would have been pretty nuts, huh? So he did give this back so we can discard it to level Scion, which is nice. I definitely think we should have kept the glimpse there for Scion. I just wasn't thinking about it. It's not an interaction you think about. And I don't think it's going to cost me anything here, but it's a little unfortunate I didn't see it coming. Think about that interaction daily. Good for you, buddy. So I can play Scion this turn, most likely. This deck looks kind of fun. And this deck would just lose to burn and aggro so hard, but against like these, you know, these like other mid-range decks, it's kind of just like a pseudo like. Right, we'll, we'll double axe. Do we? What am I doing this turn? Maybe I play Scion next turn. I just go like Grave Position into Scion. One of three, six. We need to discard one of these. I guess we can just flock his Ziggs. I don't want to give him the opportunity to play like. Hmm. I don't want to give him the opportunity to like Hourglass plus like Zalia it. I think that could be disastrous given how much damage we're potentially taking. So I'm gonna do something- I'm gonna do something weird. I'm gonna do, like, this. Just to not tip him off. This looks very bizarre, but... I think overall this is better. I want the Ziggs to be damaged, so it can't, like, weirdly hourglass to lead it. Although I don't think that's this- the line he's going for this turn. Oh no, it doesn't damage. Never mind. what am I doing? Um, well, I'm glad I didn't do this, because this deals two. Okay, that would have been kind of silly if I just double axe this and I realized this doesn't even connect. <laughs> okay, thank god we have like half of a brain. Whew! Having a brain is hard. Do I have an Azirelli guide? I have Azirelli decks on my YouTube if you want to check those out. Might be a little bit on the older side, but I think still quite relevant. Yeah, like, if I say the glimpse here, I'd just be winning, right? Damn. Silly me. Can I damage it somehow myself and block it? Not quite. So he had the Talia. Or did he draw off the Preservarian? Oh, we're so interestingly close to winning or losing. We would be winning if we had saved the glimpse. Pop that glimpse, pow. So like, he's also potentially needing to block Scion, unless he's able to stun it somehow. Which he can't, right? Not in those colors. He can't Vengeance Scion, he can't stun Scion. If he blocks it, I can flock it, and then I win, right? That feels reasonable as well. Unless he like, Vengeance his Scion right now. Then he still loses, right? No, the, 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 the minefield is a Bandle City card. I think it's easy to forget that, but <laughs> that card's in Bandle City. So he has to give up a champion here, so he gives up Talia, which is fine. I can flock my own Scion, but he's holding up Vengeance mana. So the question is, is his deck playing Vengeance? It's probably just playing quicksand here, right? Not even playing quicksand. Like, if I flock my own Scion and he has an answer for it, I just lose. So, I don't think there's a point in going that into it. Where I'm also head on board. If he wants to attack into my Scion next turn, I also win.
It's so tempting. Ah. <laughs> it's so tempting. Um, so he's dealing two, he's dealing four, he's dealing six. I am also just dying, but I do have a flock. But uh, it's the only flock. If I flock this, I can't flock that. Do it. What is his emote? Big brother. <laughs> I didn't even know that emote existed. What, what should we do here, guys? Like, I don't want to just, like, take too much damage for free either. So, like, if he has quicksand, he still needs to block with zigs unless he plays another unit. If he has another unit and he blocks it, I lose. Oh, god. I'm pretty scared. Uh, <laughs> uh, quicksand. There is quicksand. He can ride of arcane. No, no, no. We can't go for it. Like he can just ride of arcane and we lose as well. All right, we're we're being smart. We're being reasonable. <laughs> we gotta be reasonable here, guys. Oh. I do this, how do I lose? Um, he like denies it, and then I get it back, and then I develop board. I don't I'm not developing much board. I go down a six here, and I just develop board. How do I lose? I can stun Ziggs. No, no, no. Let's just be patient. I don't I don't how do we lose from here? If we just are like dead patient. He's not gonna like ruination us. Let's try to keep up atrocity mana. We can start by stunning his zigs, maybe. I don't think we can keep atrocity mana this turn. These are one ones, right? This is a four, and then we can axe into five. That seems reasonable. So he's like wanting to like ride of arcane, right? That's sort of where he's going. No ride of arcane. Interesting. It's like quicksand plus X. I'm not sure what X is. We'd start by flocking it. He hourglasses, tries to play Talia, and then we arachnoid sentry. I don't think he can do that. Like I don't think he has the mana to like hourglass plus do something. And the only hourglass I just attack for lethal, and then I still have atrocity. So he wants to protect the Ziggs, he can't Talia it, and then I don't have to worry about that combo. Let Ziggs die, okay. Replays Ziggs, potentially. Huh? What? I mean, he is playing Vengeance and Ruination, but like, if I just Axe here, like, he's gonna do X here, I'm gonna Axe here, he's gonna do X here, and then I Atrocity and I win, right? There's a Ruination, apparently, in his deck. Let's try not to play into that. Double Vengeance? I, I beat Double Vengeance. Quicksand into Vengeance? Okay, I do beat that. Beautiful. And then second quicksand doesn't do it. Whew. Okay. <laughs> what a strange game. <laughs> uh Hmm. Well, I mean Oh my god. <laughs> what? Oh my god, that's insane. <laughs> um or I mean, we should keep both Legion Deserters, but I kind of want to find like a Camaborn Soldier. Okay, not a Rumble. Um, mm. Okay, um, Camaborn Soldier. Sentry's not bad. I can play Sentry on next turn, and it's a blocker for like a something. I don't know. Let's we'll see. And then what are we discarding? Oh, Draven! Let's go! Perfect draw! Oh, what a god draw. Oh my god, what a draw. Absolute, absolutely stunning draw. Absolutely stunning. I'm tempted to trade the Draven just so I can get another axe.
Because then I discard you, you, you. And then I, like, right now I don't have a third card to discard, right? I just trade off Draven for an Axe. I don't hate the idea. Looks a little bit strange, I will have to admit, but... I think with this hand, like, I kind of want every card. Maybe, like, the second Rumble doesn't matter as much as the Draven. But then, like, what, are, what am I doing with the Axe is if I don't use them? Oh my god. Okay. We had actually play Scion later too, that's kind of nuts. Ooh. Feeling kind of dirty after this one, holy moly. Hand is nuts. Again. There's like a call like Rumble Flamesitter here, and then if I block with Rumble it'll level, right? Mm, I just need to make sure you can't kill this Rumble right now. How do you do that? He needs like double vial plus a disintegrate. I don't think that's very likely. I don't know if I want to commit the Flamesitter right now. So if it deals six, and if I use it defensively, it'll level anyways, I guess. Yeah, that's fine. So need, don't need to commit it here. He goes for it, we can just like glimpse as well. Okay. Cool. So he levels at least, unfortunately. That's pretty dope. Oh? What is this? <sighs> okay. That's fine. Like, if he drags, I can just level my rumble. Is that good? Unsure. Elfie is actually not a bad draw. I might drag with Elise. Oh, beautiful. Just replay Rumble then. We can't level this, unfortunately. That's why we just replay Rumble. I don't need a second impact here. I think my cards matter. And then we have the Deserter into Silent Curve. We haven't found our Camavoran soldiers, but neither has he. Which puts us in a very similar boat, I guess. Okay. Little does he know, I have another Rumble for 5 mana. Okay, but he has a Viego that I can't really kill. Like, how am I killing this Viego, realistically speaking? I'm just like racing him. Like my silence not leveled yet either. What did you just walk into? I don't know. It's Rumble Legion Deserter. It's like the it's, it's like the shtick. Except there's there's a few like sort of gaps in this deck that I think need a little addressing. Not sure how though, but something needs to be changed. I think the concept is there. Sound better than Viego? I don't know. If you're running Viego, you probably have to want you will probably want to play like Hydravine and then and then your package becomes a little bit more diluted. I don't know. It's not my deck, but looks pretty dope. Glimpse? Glimpse, you won't? He does. Let's Okay. Don't need Hydra Vine. We have three Rumbles actually. Okay, that sucks. Um. Hmm. That really sucks, huh? Also fills the gas pipe. Not exactly, but sort of. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, we're gaming. We are gaming. We're also just taking a boatload of damage here, but we are kind of gaming. Is it just going to disintegrate on stack? Kind of greedy. No 
Okay, so he's going to sit on the stack, say there's no Vile Feast. Fair enough. That's fine, we're not dying to Atrocity, which is a big thing. Although, I don't think our Harrowing Pool is particularly impressive. Like, not not leveling this Scion is really rough. We could, like, Scion into Harrowing, but then we leave the off chance that it somehow dies. Trying the Swirling is weird. A little bit. I think, like, he doesn't want me to buff and somehow go after the Viego. It's just, like, fair enough. I really want to level a Scion before Harrowing. Because this turn's, like, kind of off if I don't do anything either. I can just, like, dump a double glimpse. Like, am I playing Scion next turn if he's leveled instead of the Harrowing? Like, I need to set up a board state to level Scion and then Harrowing on turn 10, right? That's sort of, like, the game plan right now. is a little bit strange. Scion into Harrowing and Glimpse on Scion. But like if he Vengeance is my Scion on stack of the Harrowing, I I am very sad, right? I don't think I lose per se, but I would be quite sad. Oh, perfect. I was Oh my god. Okay. That brings me back Scion and or brings me back Crumble and then I level Scion pretty decent. <laughs> Exaxes? Okay, he, he's doing his thing too, but like our harrowing should like just body him, right? Ideally speaking. Unsure at this point. We're also dead to atrocity now. Uh, okay. Oh no, but he's gonna generate two units. Um, are we dead on board? Hmm, if we play Sion, we might just die. I don't want to die. God, if I don't play Scion... Okay, so I need to develop board this turn, play Scion next turn, then Harrowing on turn 10. We're still following the same game line. We're still following the same game line. Can I just this Viego instead of Scion? Yeah, a little bit. Okay. Lost soul, okay. Oh, are we still dead on board? I wasn't even counting, but hopefully we have enough units here. Pass, take the pass, take the pass. I mean, if he has atrocity, he just atrocities me, right? So he pass, he doesn't have atrocity. Like, if I had three mana up, there's no way I'd kill his Viego, right? He would just atrocity me. Does he level Viego? Oh, he does level Viego. Oh. Oh no, but he doesn't get a second miss next turn. This is obliterator kill. Steal kill Scion. So if I have Scion and it dies, then I don't I just rally and nothing happens. <gasps> but then I get a re <gasps> Oh my god. Oh. <gasps> okay, guys, 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 guys. So here's what happens, right? I'm gonna play Scion. He's gonna swing, I'm gonna block. I'm gonna as long as I'm as long as I'm not dead. Which I am also just dead. Oh, darn. Damn, I had a there's a really cool line if I wasn't dead here. Cause I need to also play Psy on this turn. Oh man. Damn. I forgot this created a miss when it kills. Because like we're gonna play Scion. Vigo is gonna kill Scion. We harrowing to bring back Scion and Scion return. And then we double rally. But we're dead. Is there any out? Like, we, we need to play Scion this turn. Yeah. Oh man, unlucky. We sort of had the line there. Ugh. I needed to go one wider, and I don't know if I could there. Could I have? I don't know. Alright guys, that's gonna be it for the games. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you if you are crazy enough to try out the deck for yourself, the deck list will be down below in the comments, as always. But if you did enjoy the video, consider leaving a like or subscribe if you're new to the channel. I really appreciate it. It helps me out. And thank you guys so much for watching. So I'll catch you guys tomorrow. And take care.